campus uh, many of you uh, might already be in touch with us either through phone email uh, online whatsapp uh, you uh, man, in many other ways so and some of you this might be the first time here some of you this might be might you might have come for the second time i think some of you have actually come for the second time to this session uh, this session is going to be very similar to the ones that we've had before uh, we might have a little bit of additional information uh, hopefully we'll be able to answer all of your questions uh, thoroughly about the admission process um, this year this year as you know the admission procedure is very different from previous years so uh, we wanted to do these sessions and we've been doing this almost once every week uh, to ensure that everybody understands what is the procedure uh, how to get admission into colleges of your choice uh, and of course clear up any uh, doubts that uh, you might have about uh, the admission status for this year. Uh, before we get started, um, I'll just give you guys a brief overview of MES. Uh, we were established in uh, 1970. Uh, we have over 48 educational institutions all over Bombay and New Bombay, uh, giving quality education from KG all the way to postgraduate. Some of you might already be our students. Uh, we have uh, courses in engineering, architecture, uh, B.Ed., D.Ed., art science, commerce, uh, management, uh, and many more. Uh, we have over 35,000 students in six different campuses all over Bombay and New Bombay, and we have 2,000 teachers and uh, 1,500 non-teaching staff. Why do students like to come to study at Pillay? Uh, we have some of the best academic facilities uh, in, uh, in probably the country. We have some of the best libraries, labs, research spaces, maker spaces. Uh, one of the best places to study, uh, get your science and engineering degrees. Um, we, uh, may, uh, you, uh, this auditorium is just one of the few uh, such types of facilities that we have all over the campus. Uh, and it's one of the best auditoriums in all over New Bombay. Uh, we have university toppers every year, uh, uh, top university rankers from all the way from first rank, second rank, third rank, every single year we have toppers from our uh, various institutions including engineering, architecture, uh, polytechnic, uh, art, science, commerce. Um, our students are also, uh, we could like to call them super achievers. Uh, Ionica Paul is an Olympic. She'll be participating in the Olympics this year. Uh, she's a national rifle shooter. She did her UG and PG from our college in electronics engineering. Uh, Surya Kumar Yadav is, of course, a cricketer that some of you might know her of. Uh, he's played in the IPL. We have numerous uh, state and national level contest winners. Uh, in various fields and uh, in various types of activities. Uh, we have numerous student groups and activities as well. Uh, we, uh, are, we encourage our students to participate in formula car racing. Uh, we encourage our students to participate in various groups and activities. It's not just about academics. Uh, we also do a lot of social service, uh, also a lot of uh, competitive and competition-based uh, events. Uh, of course, many of you would have heard of our uh, all uh, you know, a world famous college festival, Alegria, the Festival of Joy. It happens every year. It's a joint festival between all of our institutions, and uh, it gives our students the opportunity to explore their talents in various fields, uh, from music, art, dance, uh, and culture. And it exposes them to a, a real, unique experience every single year. Um, we also have some of the best sports facilities. Uh, like I said, uh, a very important part of Pillay culture is to uh, encourage sports and athletics along with the academic side. Uh, we have numerous artificial and natural turf playgrounds. If you walk around the campus today, you will see many of these facilities. We have in, in, uh, facilities for indoor games, uh, in on-campus rifle routing range, uh, and many others. Uh, our placement team is one of the strongest in Bombay. Uh, our placement, we have tie-ups with uh, micro, uh, with, uh, TCS, Infosys, uh, Microsoft, uh, and Tata um, as well. Uh, many of these companies come and place our students every year. Uh, many of our uh, students uh, are placed in the IT sector as well as some, uh, many of our students from mechanical and other branches are placed with uh, Mahindra, uh, uh, Indian Oil, and such companies. Uh, after having said that, I'll get into the admissions information. 
Uh, before that, uh, I'd just like to take like a quick survey of people here. How many people here are interested in engineering admissions? Okay, if you have, if you're interested in engineering, that's very nice. Uh, this is, if you're first year engineering, first year engineering, second year engineering. Okay, if you're first year engineering, all of you should be registered at a, at a facilitation center. If you have not registered, forget about this info session, run down to the uh, facilitation center right now and get all your documents verified. The deadline is today at five o'clock. So if you have not registered anybody, don't be shy, just go and run downstairs. Okay, good. So hopefully all of you first year engineering are already registered. Uh, how many architecture students, inter students interested in architecture? Okay, there's a few. Uh, what about MMS, business? There's a couple. Uh, poly diploma, polytechnic. Uh, so there's one. Please don't be shy. I just wanted to have an idea how many uh, uh, any uh, commerce, uh, BSc, any any of those streams. Okay, no one. Um, so that's that's fine. Uh, we will get right into the admissions information. This year, the um, admission uh, procedure is very different, and many of you might be very confused about it. Uh, so this session is meant primarily to discuss the admission procedure for the current year. Uh, please uh, uh, feel free to stop me and ask me questions if you have in the middle. Uh, there is no uh, problem with that. Uh, we will go through it, but this material is very confusing. So if you are confused, if you have a doubt, please let me know. Um, uh, for, for most of your engineering, so I'll start with engineering. Uh, we have two colleges of engineering, one in Panvel and one in Rasaini. Uh, the, Panvel, the college in Panvel, which is where we are sitting, uh, is established in 1999. Uh, the college in Rasaini is established in 2009. Uh, both our colleges are as, as affiliated to the University of Mumbai, uh, approved by the All India Council of Technical Education and recognized by the government. Uh, we have our courses are accredited by the uh, prestigious uh, National Board of Accreditation and also recognized by, the, by UGC. The Rasaini College is also recognized by the Sports Authority of India as a center of excellence. Uh, as far as the courses are concerned, in our Panvel campus, we have uh, automobile engineering, computer engineering, IT, uh, electronics and telecommunication, electronics engineering, and mechanical engineering. Some of these are both UG and PG uh, courses. If you are uh, uh, in our Rasaini campus, we have all those, plus we have electrical engineering and we have civil engineering as well. So if you're looking out for to do electrical and civil engineering, uh, we should uh, we recommend taking admission in our Rasaini campus. Um, for the eligibility concerns, for those, most of you have already registered the FC, so you may be familiar with all these things. You should be an independent uh, Indian national. Uh, you should have passed uh, your 12th with 50% in PCM, and you should have ta be either taken CET or JEE, unless you are an NRI student. So most of you would have already uh, done this. Um, here are the, the CET score cutoffs for the last few years. Uh, uh, these scores, are, what we have realized is these are a little bit higher uh, than the, what is going to be this year. This year the cutoffs are going to be much, much lower than this. Uh, so take this with a grain of salt. Uh, the, uh, our management institute was established uh, in uh, 1998. It was affiliated to the university. It's the same thing, affiliated to University of Mumbai. Uh, approved by the All India Council of Technical Education and also accredited by MBA. Uh, the eligibility criteria is, is same ex uh, except you should have taken c some type of CET. There are many different CETs for management. So if anybody has any questions, please feel to ask. The registration date for management is also over. Uh, so if you have not registered by now, uh, it might be too late to take admission. Uh, architecture. Uh, uh, we have uh, our architecture college is one of the oldest private unaided colleges in the country. Uh, we were established in 1991. Uh, we are also permanently affiliated to the University of Mumbai, approved by the Council of Architecture. We offer both B Arch and M Arch courses, and our uh, architecture college in Rasaini is also uh, established in 2010 and affiliated to the University of Mumbai, and offers B Arch courses with an intake of 80. For architecture, uh, you should have had uh, taken NATA at this point have and 50% aggregate in your 12th standard, and mathematics has to be one of your classes. A minimum score of 80 in NATA is required for an architecture admission. For the architecture, the last three years cutoffs are given here. Uh, in 2013, uh, it was 60% 12th, 97% NATA, 14, 83% 12th, 101 not score in NATA, and 2015 was 
uh, 76%. So it varies a little bit. We expect that uh, this will uh, sort of continue the same way. Uh, we have a polytechnic or a diploma institute uh, in our assigning college. Uh, this is also for if you want uh, to study after your 10th, um, uh, you can uh, study there in the fields of civil engineering, computer engineering, IT, EXTC electronics, and mechanical. Um, and the eligibility is you should have passed your 10th standard uh, in whichever board is there. 